Hello my dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, actually, today's problem is very uh, short and small. I think uh, uh, you can easily do this uh, solution. So if you can, if you want to try for yourself, you can pause the video at first. Then after trying yourself, then you can see the solution if you don't, if you cannot actually solve. So I'm showing you the solution. So how you can actually proceed in the question, it is said okay it is said that a uh, two factorial equals to two times one equals to two and three factorial means uh three times uh, two times one so this sign is actually factorial uh, the exclamation mark so when there is a factorial we need to uh, multiply all the numbers starting from one up to that number okay so three factorial is three times two times one you can uh, see how actually factorial works here and three factorial five factorial and n factorial if you multiply all those numbers you will get 10 factorial and you have to find out the value of n from here okay so let's write it first that is 3 factorial times 5 factorial times n factorial uh, which is equals to 10 factorial you can actually add um, find out the value of 3 factorial 5 factorial 10 factorial then do the equation but uh, equation solving but you can will do it um, keeping uh, as it is okay so let's say it uh, take 10 factor uh, n factorial in the left side and on the right side you get 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 5 factorial so for what is the value of 10 factorial you can write like 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times uh, 1 right and in the left side uh, 3 factorial what is the value of 3 factorial this is a uh, 6 ogle we will see it and the value of 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so here you can see 5 times 4 times 3 times 1 and again on the upper side we have seen 5 times 4 times 3 times 1 so we can cross this right so now we can again cross something like the value of 3 factorial which is 3 times 2 times 1 this is equals to 6 so, so we can cross 3 factorial and 6 as well and now we will be left with only n factorial which is equals to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 but you have to find out the value of n so you have to also uh, remember that you need to express uh, the this product uh, like uh, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 as uh, something like a factorial so how factorial works starting from 1 and up to uh, some train number which means uh, if if it is goes up to uh, n let's say consecutive uh, product of consecutive numbers up to n this is be this is n factorial okay so how we can actually write these numbers let's uh, rearrange at first so 10 uh, we can write like 2 times 5 and 9 you can write 9 in this way sorry i have uh, made uh, equal sign here so you can uh, like uh, 9 like uh, 3 times 3 and you can write for 8 like uh, 4 times 2 and keep 7 as it is because we cannot <coughs> express 7 as the uh, product of two numbers okay let's uh, multiply 1 7 times 4 is also 7 so what you can do actually so let's, let's rearrange it first so we need to uh, while finding out the factorial or while making anything factorial we need to start with one or starting with the uh, highest number so let's start with one at first we don't know which is the highest number or what will be the highest number so let's start with one so one times we have uh, one then we have two we have three as well one times two times three we have four as well one times two times three times four then we have five then uh, is there any six okay we can make six right so this is three and this is two so three times two is six so you can write six so three times two for three times two we are writing six and we have also seven here is there any number left no no number is left. so we have used all the numbers and you can see here one two three four five six seven all these are the consecutive numbers up to seven and we have made a product of all the numbers so this is actually equals to seven factorial you can write in this way so we have got the value of n factorial as equals to seven factorial can you please tell me now the value of n this is super easy right so the value of n is seven so this is our actual uh, solution of this question so this is a very easy problem uh, the value of n is seven this is the answer so thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum and hope to see you in the next video.